the blindfold. Pick up a book, read about stories that aren't told. Living a Babylon, have you come figure your role? I'm a freedom fighter, can you hear it in my tone? Pick a lap. Shalom! We are Israel united in Christ. We are being here for over eight hours to teach you the truth according to the Bible. Now give me Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14. We are going to show you what our mission is here in Jamaica. We have come all the way from the United States of America for one purpose. Read that. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Now, my question to you, what is the gospel? The what? True commandment of Christ, what is the gospel, sis? Alright, so, according to the Bible, gospel means good news. The good news that we bring to Kingston, Jamaica, is that you are not Jamaican. You are not West Indian. According to the Bible, you are from the tribe of Benjamin, from the nation of Israel. Give me Isaiah 49 and verse 6. According to the Bible, a lot of people talk. Your Pentecostal church has been lying to you for over 30 years. And in 10 minutes, we are going to prove every doctrine you've been taught is a lie. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to rise up the tribes of Jacob. To do what? To rise up the tribes of Jacob. The job of the servants of the Most High God is to raise up the tribes of Israel in the Pentecostal church, in the Seventh day Adventist church, in the Rastafari religion. They are not raising up the 12 tribes of Israel. Therefore, they are false pastors and preachers. Read it again. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be servant to raise up the, the tribes of Jacob. To raise up the tribes of Jacob. Now, today specifically, we are dealing with the tribe of Benjamin. Let's go to Genesis chapter 49 and verse 27. Because we said it all day that you so-called Jamaicans are from the tribe of Benjamin. Now we are going to prove it with a story. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, and verse 27. Listen good. You listen. This is how we know that you are from the tribe of Benjamin. This is how we know you're from the tribe of Benjamin, sis. This is how we know you are from the tribe of Benjamin. All right? Read. Benjamin shall run as a wolf. Now, the Bible gives very, very specific characteristics of the tribe of Benjamin. Read it again. Benjamin shall rave as a wolf. The Bible says that Benjamin shall rave as the wolf. Now, what does a wolf do at night, brother? You don't get it? You don't get it? What does a wolf do at night? What do they do at the moon? Uh, read it again. Benjamin shall rave as a wolf. Benjamin shall rave as the wolf. What do wolves do at night? What did you say? Read it again. They howl. Now, Benjamin, all right, you so called Jamaicans in your music, all right? of what? Babylon. You know songs about oppression when nobody else was. Read that again. Genesis 
born in nine, verse 27. Uh -huh. Benjamin shall write as a wolf. So the Bible is letting us know, guess what? Why the so-called black, which are from the tribe of Judah, while we were dancing and singing with Michael Jackson, guess what? Benjamin was raving as the wolf. You understood who your oppressor was. But what has happened? Why is it in 2016 we come back and everything, all your major artists, they see and dance just like the so-called black man. They see and dance just like the so-called white man. Why is it Shaggy your best artist? And what is he singing about? Adultery. Why is Bob Cartel your greatest artist? And what is he singing about? Drug dealing, murdering. What type of example is he setting for your son that you sent to the Pentecostal church? To bleach his skin, to be a whoremonger, to be a drug dealer. That is what has happened. But the Bible is letting us know what type of spirit you had in the beginning. Read that again. Benjamin, to run as a wolf. So, in your music, Benjamin was singing about songs of oppression. You were singing about down with Babylon in your music. Read. In the morning, uh -huh. he shall devour the prey. In the morning, they would devour the prey. What are we reading about? This is your history. Some of our brothers went up to St. Elizabeth yesterday. Who in history was some of the most fierce warriors on the face of this earth? Who was the brother? Let me know. What group of your people were fierce warriors? were fierce warriors fighting who fought for your people during the 16, 15 The Maroons! The Maroons! Give me the right It's a shame that we are in Jamaica and we do not know who our warriors are. We don't know why. Because you have been put asleep. Give me the right to win the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. That is what we are seeing. How am I in Jamaica and I'm looking at a Burger King across the street? Because you are serving your enemies. Burger King was not set up by any Jamaican man. Read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall set against thee. Who did the Lord send against you, West Indian? He sent the Spanish man. He sent the British man. He sent the uh, East Indian man. He sent the China man. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. In hunger. In hunger you serve your oppressors. Read. And in thirst. Uh -huh. And in nakedness. Uh -huh. And in want of all things. This is the key part. Read now. And he shall put a yoke of fire upon thy neck. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. That is what we are looking at in 2016. We are looking at a destroyed people. A people that don't know their own history. How do you walk through the land of Kingston, Jamaica, and you do not know who the Maroons are? That is what is happening. Read that again. Until he what? Until he have destroyed thee. The Bible says until he have destroyed thee. But in these last days, God is waking up his prophet to come and wake you up. Give me John chapter 8 and verse 8. We have come all the way from America for one reason. To teach you your true nationality according to the Bible. John 8 and 8. The book of Job, chapter 8 and verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. Let me read it again. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. So the Bible says that you should question about the former age, meaning your history, your lineage. All right, the captain brought it out beautifully. Who were you before they called you Jamaican, right? Because we understand that guess what? Are the so-called Jamaicans, are you native to this land? No, right? Before you got here, the natives of this land were here. So who were you before you were brought on here on those cargo slave ships? Read that again. For inquire, 
I pray thee uh -huh. of the former age. God says that you must be the player of the former age. They are not doing that in your Pentecostal church. I guarantee 37 years and we ask you your nationality. What would you say your nationality? Jamaica. Jamaica. Do you see the hypocrisy in that sense? Do you see it? 37 years and we still lay me laying claim to a title that was given to us by our oppressors. And we know it. Read out. And prepare thyself for the search of their father. Now the Bible says, prepare yourself for the search of your father. Now we already proved that you so-called West Indians are the tribe of Benjamin. Now, the next question you should be asking, once you learn your nationality, what should you ask? What should be the most important thing, sis? Why do we go to church? Why do we go to the Pentecostal church for 37 years? What were you searching for? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in God, right? Why do we go to church, brother? Why do you go to church? To know the truth, okay. To know the truth. What about heaven? Were you trying to get to heaven since then? Okay, you were confused. So you went to the church. Matthew 19 is 16. Good. All right, good. Everybody saying they wanted to know the truth, right? The truth is that you so called West Indians all from the tribe of Benjamin, or nation of Israel. And the only way to get into the kingdom of heaven is you must repent and keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Very simple. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do? That I may have eternal life. So this man came to Christ. He said, what good thing shall I do to inherit eternal life? All right? That's what we all seeking, right? You want to get eternal life? You want eternal life, sister? You want eternal life? Let's see what God says. I mean, Jesus Christ says. Read. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good. But one. So Christ says there is none good but one. What is he letting us know? That Jesus Christ and the Most High God are separate entities. They are not the same. Three. That is God. Uh -huh. But if thou wilt enter into life. He said, but if you want to enter into that life, that eternal rest, the gates of heaven, the kingdom, rulership. Read. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. You understand that? You understand that? You understand that? Now, what the Pentecostal church has brainwashed in our heads for over 37 years is that God's laws do not stand. Let's see what the Bible says about that. Give me Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. Let's he, he cut that in the head right now before we get started. Read that. The book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I've come to destroy the law. Read that again. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. So the Bible says, think not that I have come to destroy the law. Read. Or the prophet. Uh -huh. I am not come to destroy, uh -huh. but to fulfill. God and Jesus Christ, he came to fulfill the laws of God. Read. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tail shall in no wise pass from the law, uh -huh. till all be fulfilled. Now, hey, my brother right there in the white shirt, has all things been fulfilled in this Bible? No. No, right? So do God's laws still stand? Hmm? Do God's laws still stand today? Yes. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. You agree? You agree? Now, let's get a law of God, because all of us want the truth, right? We want to get that eternal life. Let's go to Leviticus 21 and verse 5. Let's get rid of God's law. Because like I said, we came from America. We spent our hard-earned money. 
faith so we can wake our brothers and sisters up. Or the access. So now we must give you but there are some the access in Jamaica. That is what's point. going to bring this you into that eternal life. They're saying not like giving time. Is like a not Mexican singing songs. Access. But your work. But I think at some point, at some access, guy had the book of Leviticus, chapter 21. So when it's a Christmas, Columbus comes to the They shall not make books upon their heads. My brother, listen good. This is the law of God. Listen good. Read that again. They shall not make books upon their heads. My brother, come here. You out of order. That what you said? That you have a knowledge that you are in your air of your way. You should grow hair. Very simple, right? Very, very simple. But one thing you will find amongst the nation of Israel is that we are a rebellious people. Now, you got to go ahead. Give me number 15 to 30 years. Now, is that hard to do, brother? Is it hard to do, brother? Why would you jump church? No, it's not hard at all, right? What would you say? Is it hard? No, it's not hard. Same thing for your beard. You got to go ahead. talking to a friend. A customer. I'm going to mention no, the man. Uh, 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 speak unto the children of Israel. No, speak unto the Egyptians. Speak unto the children of Israel. This Bible is only for you, 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 all of you, but not those white and Chinese people that are up there in those heathens. Yeah. The Bible is for the reason. Yeah. 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 Speak unto yeah. yeah. the children of Israel and bid them to go up in that they make them fringes in the borders of the garment. Now, if you look at all the brothers, we all have these dangly things at the bottom of our shirt. Those are called fringes. You must have fringes on your garment to get into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. They are not teaching that in your Pentecostal church. We just read God's law stands until all things have been fulfilled. And that is not happening. So you must keep fringes. But what should you put upon that fringe? Read. Throughout their generations, uh -huh. and that day put up on the fringe of the border uh -huh. a ribbon of blue. Upon that fringe, you must put a ribbon of blue upon You see how we have a ribbon of blue around it? Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, uh -huh. that he may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So, that's another simple commandment, right? Now, we all, we both said that those are easy commandments for us to keep, right? But, the thing is, that's very easy for you to forget if you are not around the body of believers. That is why we have come here, to establish church and order right here in the nation of Jamaica. Give me Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. Luckily, for you, we are establishing churches right here in Jamaica. We have a school in Mandeville. All right, this is good. Romans 10 and All right, now we're going to show you why it is important to be around a body of believers according to the Bible. Read it. The book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So that they come and by Herod. Read that again. So that they come and by Herod. The Bible says that your faith comes by hearing. What is it? What must you hear according to the Bible? Do you have to listen to dance all music? Do you have to listen to Sean, I mean, uh, Sean Kick? Do you have to listen to Shaggy? Do you have to listen to Vibes Cartel? Let's see what the Bible says. So then thank for it by Herod, and Herod by the Word of God. Herod by what? The Word of God. Uh, not this one. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. 
So again, please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.